five foot six to six feet tall is exactly the change you'll be able to see on yourself after being part of this procedure that I'm gonna tell you now. That's a huge change. It's like going from being as tall as a Ben Stiller to being as tall as Ryan Gosling over a period of a year. We all know that we want this kind of glow up, but interestingly, some people are actually paying anywhere between $3,000 and $162,000 to be able to get that six feet Ryan Gosling charm. After we've given you that additional height, you'd probably be sitting at very close to 5'11". Yeah. Okay. okay. Just for context, know that uh, $162,000 could get you four Mercedes-Benz SUVs, uh, 147 of the latest iPhones, or even 8.44 Bitcoins, uh, if you're into that kind of stuff. But many people are actually choosing to get a few inches taller instead of any of these things. And you may think that this is something that's happening only among rich people in Hollywood or Silicon Valley. But nope, it's actually happening all over the world, in countries like India, Greece, uh, Turkey, the US, and the UK. Take this guy from the US as an example. He was having a bit of a tough time dating girls in high school, and he thought that it might be because he was only 5'4". And he went through the getting taller procedure and became 5'7 by paying thousands of dollars. I'm not judging or anything. People should always have the right to do whatever they want with their bodies. But at the same time, asking why a certain part of society is choosing to pay thousands of dollars and go through the excruciating pain of getting taller is a very important question to ask. Because the surgery that one experiences to get taller, which is called leg lengthening, is not as glamorous as it may sound. There have been multiple reports claiming that there are certain doctors and also hospitals that are executing the procedure without actually having the full potential to do so. And as a result, many have been unable to work and also some have been uh, very unsatisfied by the height they ended up getting. Not only this, but the properly executed leg lengthening procedure on its own is really shocking and I want to tell you why. He's a good looking guy, but has always wanted to be taller. So it takes a long time for the, the bone to actually harden. Let me take you back to one of the most controversial episodes of The Doctors in order to explain what leg lengthening really is. So meet Dave. He's a guy who attended the show The Doctors a couple of years ago as a guest. He was one of the many guys that have gotten medically taller over the past couple of years. He did so because he was feeling quite insecure about his height, which was 5'7". After finding out that there is a medical procedure that can help you get taller, he went for it and added two inches on himself uh, by paying a staggering $76,000. So to bring about such an increase in height, this is basically what your doctor does. The first thing that you're gonna have to do is choose how much taller you want to get. And this is gonna depend on how much you're willing to pay, how many surgeries you're willing to undergo, and how tall you are at the moment. Once you choose how tall you want to be, you'll enter the surgery room and experience one of the most gruesome sounding medical procedures you'll ever be a part of. The first thing that they do is drill into your thighs or lower legs. Yes, they actually drill into your thighs or lower legs. But if you think that this is the craziest part, buckle up because it's really gonna get crazier than this. What they do next is place implants in both of your legs. And this implant is a very expensive piece of technology that can be controlled through a remote control from outside. So once the implant is placed in your bones, uh, the doctor or you will be able to increase the height of the implant one millimeter every day for the next 90 days. Then the healing part called consolidation begins. And this is a part where your bones and also tissues consolidate themselves and bring themselves back to where things were. This process can take up to nine months, but it's only nine months in those hospitals where things are very expensive and the patients are well treated. For others, just like this kid called AJ, it can take up to three years. So AJ's story is actually gonna take us to the dark side of this growing industry of leg lengths. So AJ had a very tough school experience. He only grew as high as 1.20 meters in high school and he was fiercely bullied because of it. And that's when AJ and also his family considered uh, leg lengthening might be the right option for him. But sadly, AJ and also his family had no idea that the leg lengthening procedure would be as extreme, invasive, and life disrupting that it became for AJ. After years of medical assistance, his legs look like this now, and he does not feel comfortable walking. Sadly, wanting to get taller and ending up in the situation that AJ ended up in is not only the reality of AJ, it's actually the reality of many people. Listening to these kind of stories, you cannot help but wonder why thousands of people still go through the procedure knowing the cost, risk, and also pain involved. 
Well, one of the reasons could be leg lengthening actually has helped many people to get taller and enjoy a better lifestyle, according to the people that actually got taller. But their words cannot tell us the full story. As futuristic as leg lengthening may sound, it comes with its own drawbacks. The first drawback is related to proportionality. In the world, many tall people are generally tall above and below their waist. But when it comes to people that have gotten taller uh, through leg lengthening, they might end up with this uncommon proportion of the upper and lower body, which actually makes a lot of people regret uh, going through the procedure in the first place. The last and probably the main reason why many people consider leg lengthening actually lies close to home to most of us, which is the stigma that society imposes on shorter people. Are you even human if you're a five foot six guy? Um, I love when people ask me why I don't really want to date short guys. <laughs> I don't date short guys. I don't date short guys. For example, there is a study done in Australia that attempts to see if shorter guys actually make less money compared to their taller counterparts. What they actually ended up seeing is, yes, shorter guys make less money, actually about $500 a year per inch when compared to their taller counterparts. No, God, please, no, no! There is this Dutch study showing that women were dating guys that are shorter than them only in just 7.5% of observed cases. If we go to modeling, pop culture, and also academia, there is going to be all kinds of stigmas against short people to uncover. There is no denying that society and the way we perceive appearances has pushed certain people to a medical procedure that appears to be a bit too painful, risky, and also expensive. And it's time to recognize that and change the way we treat short people.